Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here of Serpent X Tech. And in this video, I just want to share something that I bumped into while looking for uh, some storage for my son's future system, right? He needs it for college, for music production, editing, stuff like that. And I was just looking for a storage item because we're going to be using my nephew's previous motherboard and CPU, which is the 2700X uh, from AMD and a gigabyte motherboard. It does have an M.2 slot and some SATA, but we're going to go M.2. And I wanted to get a one terabyte model. Now we're looking at PC Part Picker, which is a phenomenal site, uh, but it doesn't always offer the most real time information. And on top of that, you would notice... Uh, you know, Team Group, Silicon, um, A Data, PNY, Patriot. You will see that there's not too many off brands here. It's all pretty much reputable brands. Brands has been around for a while. Um, on the left hand side, what I did is I sorted by the overall storage, so one terabyte, and the form factor M.2 uh, 2280. And we could see the lowest drive that I could find on here, at least price wise, is 6279. And then if we look right around here, the $69 range, we got A-Data, XPG, A-Data, SX6000, and then PNY, so on and so forth. And as we go past the $69 range, I'm going to show you something. We bump into uh, a drive that is not on this list. Now, this is on Amazon.com. Newegg also has some uh, vendors that are not as reputable. They're not as profound, like, you know, crucial corsair whatever it may be and i know i keep saying that word incorrectly for those that pick on me but this is uh i believe it's feng Tung, uh s500 pro one terabyte it does have pretty good endurance 640 terabytes written uh it fits the form factor yes it is only a gen 3 drive but the motherboard that it's going to go into is only gen 3 anyway so that's not really a problem but it's got pretty good read and writes for example it's got a 3500 read and 3000 uh megabytes per second uh write so plenty for what my son's needs will be, but it's not showing in PC part picker. And a lot of people look at items like this and just like, oh, okay, well, I'm not going to even bother. Nine times out of 10, though, the people that manufacture these components, even though they're under a brand name that you never heard of, they're probably using the same damn components in a reputable brand that you are familiar with. For example, the memory controller on this is shared or similar to the SK Hynix one, uh, the gold P31, and it gets the job done, and it completes the needs. There's nothing wrong with it. Now, this particular drive has better uh, writes, for example, 3,200 megabytes per second versus 3,000 on the no-name brand. But again, it gets the job done. And the hard part as a consumer is identifying what is good and what is not. Really, that comes down to researching the individual components that go into an NVMe drive, an SSD, or, for example, a power supply. Now, when we go searching for 850-watt power supplies, you get a whole number of them. Now, Ares Game, if I said that correctly, was proven by Gamers Nexus to be actually a pretty damn good power supply. So don't sleep on that one. Uh, however, I never heard of Pi Store. I never heard of Game Power Spec or some of these other ones. And I believe there's another one set set go something um is actually they their components are shared with evga and i think corsair um so some of the power supplies i would steer clear of i can't validate data on each and every one of them that's why power supply testing is being handled by bigger youtube channels because they have the testing the lab and the equipment but just because you see a no-name brand or a brand you're not familiar with don't just automatically skip it if you can st spend some time, do some research and identify, okay, what are the components in this power supply? You know, get some actual data sheets on the component. You may actually find out that they share the exact same damn thing as brands you are 100% familiar with. It just takes a little extra time, a little bit more effort on your part. And I understand how that could be an inconvenience, but it could wind up saving you some money. For example, one terabyte, again, under 70 bucks, uh, has good read and writes, and it's not even listed on PC Park Pivot. You know, I could go with some of these other options here, um, and I maybe I may consider it, right? Save one penny here with the ADA uh, GameX 5 or whatever you want to call it. Let's see what the read and write speeds. It's slower read and writes. So 2100 and 1500, and then what's the endurance? I don't know what the endurance is. It's not displayed here on this page, but then I can go check that up by highlighting the name 
and going and looking up and finding the data sheet for it and identifying the 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 overall endurance of this drive and i bet you that this no-name driver this drive from this unknown manufacturer will actually be better than it not only in endurance but also in reads and writes so don't sleep on these on these manufacturers or vendors that you never heard of do a little bit of research spend a little time and you might wind up wind up actually saving yourself a little bit of money but that's pretty much it i just want to share this experience as i was going through you can see i got a couple drives here uh one's going to be for my sun system uh one was just a comparison and then this one's going to go into a test bench uh because i don't need that much space 256 gigabytes but do me a favor on the way out please hit the like button make sure to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description that helps support the channel and what we do here and i hope you have yourself a wonderful day take care and i'll catch you next one